the question I have for you during this a prayer time with me is this do you want a new beginning in your life do you need a new beginning in your life this is a very important question and that's the topic for today do you need a new beginning in your life this is Reverend Dika A. E. Mary, your bishop, welcoming you to daily prayer with me. This is simply in obedience to divine command that I should hold daily prayers with you. I'm reading to you from John chapter 1, verse 1a, which says, In the beginning, was the word in the beginning was the word hallelujah and for those of you who follows what i am doing on a daily basis the daily prayers and ministries the psalm for this is psalm number two please read psalm number two When we read that portion that says, in the beginning was the word, the question that the Holy Spirit asked me was this, do I need a new beginning in my life? In your life, you've been struggling. Things are not working well. Some of you carries with you the burden of your family line, the burden of your family DNA. The burden of baggages, problems, troubles, wahala of the past. Some you contributed, some others brought into your life, some the devil brought into your life. But God asks you and says, the beginning lies with me. Jesus says to you today, the beginning lies with me. I can change your life i can make a new beginning to happen to you i can make i can make a new beginning happen to you hallelujah i can make a new beginning happen to you many of you are praying and asking god I need a new beginning. I've been struggling to do this, struggling to do that. Struggle to be, to, to, to raise my business up to the standard that I wanted. It always crumbles. I try to be in marriage. It doesn't work. I try to raise children. It all went to pieces. Nothing works one or the other spouses with the kids. I tried to go to school. It did not work. I studied for a couple of years, dropped out. I mean, this is what people say. It's not about me. Because if I go to school, I go to school. Others have tried to build houses. It didn't work. You've been struggling to fight demonic activities in your life and family in your career. Nowadays, you try to pretend to be really smiley and happy in your job so that nobody fights you no more. And yet, there is, there is still somebody snitching at you. Your husband or your wife left you with crazy children. Do you want a new beginning in your life? Then it's about time that you tell Jesus, I want a new beginning. Make it happen to me and he will do it. He will. This is how you will know that Christianity works, that Jesus is alive. 
is when you ask him to show up and to start a new beginning. It takes the one who can begin something to begin something for you. It takes someone who knows how to begin something to begin it for you and you watch and you walk into the beginnings that he has made for you. And Jesus has made that beginning for you. So, ask him to open the doors of favors and opportunities for a new beginning in anything you ever desire. I bid you do it. And when he does it, you, I want you to be a blessing to me financially. I want you to donate generously to my ministry. This is not... This is not fake. This is not a joke. This is reality. This thing works. This is divine, divine solution. So let me pray with you. I want you to say this with me. Say, Jesus, show up in my life. Show up in my job. Show up in the relationship I've been struggling to make happen. Show up in my marriage. Show up in my education. Show up in the life of my children, my family members. Every area that I've been struggling, please show up. Let your divine visitation come to me. Amen. I receive it and I have it. Amen. Now let me begin to minister to you. Dear Jesus, show up in the life of this person who is seeking for you. Let them know that you are alive. Give them a new beginning in everything. With your blood, the blood of the new covenant, the new beginning, show up and connect them covenantally, legally, so that they can have a new beginning where the enemy cannot touch them. Move them into their geography of new beginning. In your name we pray. And if you pray that prayer with me, I want you to say Amen and Amen. I will be seeing you in the next daily prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. I love my tea. I'm not a coffee person. I love tea. <laughs> I'm juice too. Yeah. Yeah.